Hi, I'm John Newton, aka Snap on John 100, and you are watching Wilderness Self Reliance. Today, we're going to be featuring the Jeff White Bush Knife HD. It's H the HD stands for heavy duty and the it's made out of 1095 uh, high carbon steel 3 16 of an inch thick so it's very beefy knife and this is a co-design with uh, Dave Canterbury and so you can buy these at the Pathfinder store um, I'll put all the specs for the knife in the description box below. Let's get started with this thing. Let's make a tent stake here. Here's one nice feature, if you're uh, prepping food or anything like that, you've got room for your knuckles when the knife um, blade is all the way down on the cutting surface. This has a, um, what I would call like a, a high saber, a convex saber grind. Almost, uh, it's almost like a Scandi Vex. So this is extremely durable. There, it made short work of that. Just crown the top of it so it doesn't mushroom over when you hit it. All right, I'll bring the camera a little closer. Here is a close-up of the knife. This is a very budget-friendly knife. I think this was 70 or 80 dollars, I can't remember. Um, but it might even be less than that. It has cherry scales. I think they're cherry, but I could be wrong. I might. I don't think they're walnut, I think it looks like they're cherry, but um, he's actually a blacksmith, so these blades are all forged. So um, he hand forges these, and they're sharp as anything when you get them, so I, I really think it's a great uh, knife for your money. Uh, it's Jeff White. Now, what I wanted to bring you in close on is um, to show you, I goofed on this tent spit peg when I put my notch in, there's the seven notch I put in there. And if you look, the high point of the um, stake 
is on the side where the notch is and it should be the exact opposite it should be over on this side because you want to hit the high point and if you hit that could shear that right off you know because it's undercut there so you could end up shearing off your notch so you want to have it on the the high point on the back side of the notch it's not like this so I just want to make sure you I show you that because it's an, how you don't want to make it There's a pot hook.
And just a square notch. This is capable of making curls. And we can't have a fire today because of all the leaves and the wind. So it makes really fine curls. Got a piece of fat wood here. This thing excels in splitting wood because of how thick the blade is. You don't ever have to worry about this point. Oh, it also has a sharpened spine. really sharpened spine. You see that?
They don't try to pound through knots. As to me, in a okay, there's the knot there. Now there's no knot here. Jeff White, Bush Knife, HD. You can get those at the Pathfinder store. I'll uh, put up a link to those. Now, for pros and cons, um, pros, it's very easy to sharpen, um, and it comes razor sharp. It's got a nice 90 degree spine, really sharp 90 degree spine. Um, it almost can, it feels like it almost could cut you. Um, and it's, if you're looking for an inexpensive, heavy duty um, camp knife, this is a really good one to look at. Uh, cons, uh, well actually this isn't a con. Uh, I'm not a big fan of wood scales just because they're not as durable and so um, in order to keep these inexpensive they're just kind of plain um, wood scales so from an aesthetics point of view um, I don't think that that's that attractive but um, that's definitely not a con because some people love wood scales um, the fit and finish is really good he did a great job with that um, there's one pin here and one lanyard hole and I'm not sure how well the scales will stay on I haven't beat on the thing enough to you know see they haven't come loose yet and I but I don't I don't beat on my knives um, another thing that I don't care for is this sort of a like a finger choil or guard and it's okay if you, as long as your fingers don't slide up. But right there is a razor edge. And so there's not much keeping you from touching it. So that's, I found with gloves on, I was on that all the time. That's why I took them off because they're kind of slippery for this knife. But that's kind of a con for me. Um, that's really it. Um, there's another one that's called the bush knife, regular bush knife, and it's one eighth inch thick. That might slice a little better, but um, because of this high convex bevel, this thing does cut really easily, and it does a great job at splitting wood. So if you need something heavy duty to split wood, um, point is strong. If you need it digging into the wood, trying to get grubs or if you want to use this to gather some fat wood, this is a great choice. And once again, it's also very budget friendly, um, extremely budget friendly. And for how much you pay, you get an awful lot of knife. So um, that's why all the con the pros outweigh the cons because it's got good value for your money. It's got really strong steel. It's got an extremely easy to sharpen convex edge and um, fit and finish is good. 90 degree spine. There you have it. The Jeff White Bush Knife HD. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, they're going to be kind of short until I can get my, once I can walk around, I can do a lot more. Um, it's just kind of all I can do to hobble out here, but don't forget to stop at my store, WildernessSelfReliance.com. I'll put a link in the description box to the store. Um, it's all things fire making, and also um, there's a few stoves in there as well. So until we meet again, God bless.